Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So today we are going to do a some gameplay on the Stug 3B. Uh, and then after this, I didn't, I kind of did it in a little bit of reverse order and I apologize. Normally when I do a review, I like to do the review of it. And then, you know, some gameplay, talk about a little bit, whether it's worth it or not. Well, this one I kind of screwed up and I um, did the uh, replay first and then I did the actual review of the tank and the results and stuff so i apologize about that i've been good about doing it the, the correct way but you know every once in a while we all make a mistake here and there um i like this new uh the update for aslan's mod pack this new uh, dg site mod um it's a little bit different than what it used to look like and uh, i'm actually really liking it i like when you aim in uh at something and your reticle's aiming, you know, aiming in, it spins, that little piece, the certain thing in the center spins, kind of like winding into, uh, be aimed in on what you're going to shoot at. Anyways, I thought I'd get up in here with the aero di dynamics of this tank. Doesn't have the best, uh, gun depression in the world. You got negative six, so, um, it, it's got a low profile, which is nice, so what you need to try doing is getting your shot off, so, you know, you want to get kind of an angle where you're just kind of peeking over a hill, but with six gun depression, negative six gun depression, it's a little hard to do that. I wish this had more like eight, even ten would be awesome. And then, you know, it's kind of like um, a couple of the other tank destroyers where all you see is that gun face, and, you know, somebody pops out and all they see is a gun. And, you know, you take your shot and back down real quick. So with six, you can see it's not really good. Um, I have to come up over the hill a little bit to get a shot in that area. I think I adjust it a little bit more backwards or forwards to get the gun down a little more. And then, you know, you would take your shot and back down. Oh, wow, that's cool. You can actually see fruit on the flipping trees. I'm still getting used to having an awesome graphics card. <laughs> I'm used to that. Um, laptop, which, like I said, I'm not going to bash it. It was good. It was a great... Uh, laptop for four years, but it served its purpose, and uh, now it's in the hands of my daughter, who plays PUBG, I think, with it or something. I'm not sure what game she plays. But anyway, so, big difference with this, when you can see fruit on the uh, apple trees and stuff. That's pretty neat. Uh, I just noticed that, by the way. But anyway, so yeah, I would, uh, you know, be in this position, take my shot, and then back down real quick, so you're in this little, you know, dip get reloaded, uh, it takes about 8 seconds to reload, pull back up, take a shot again. So now that I've jacked my jaws, um, I got in here and I'm patiently waiting for something to pull out in front of me. And I see this whole, like my mouse, that mouse that I have, my gaming mouse I think is dying on me because it's doing some weird stuff. Um, so I got to back up. But anyway, so I saw this group of tanks battling it over, uh, battling it out over here. And um, we start losing, you know, a lot of tanks really quick. So after sitting here with my thumb on my butt for a little bit, uh, I saw some people kind of lit, lighten up over here. And, you know, we've already lost uh, three tanks. They've lost two. And I thought, it's I, I got to move. Um, that's three to three now. But I figured I'm going to move up into this spot right here and I noticed they have changed it um, not so easy to get shots there as it was before uh, it looks like it's easier for you if you're on that side to hide but then I saw the tanks right around the corner here and I just took a, a auto lock pulled around the corner shot the type 95 and just completely flobbed it and missed so I saw the um, PZ3E over there, I thought I'd go for him, and he gets melted, <laughs> so I decided, okay, we'll go back over here after the Type 95, and I believe I just do an auto lock on him, yep, do an auto lock, let it shrink in a little bit, shoot him, and then he burns for the rest, so 421 damage in one shot, I saw the B1 up there, let her aim in, lob that shot, hit him, light him on fire, and uh, did 84 damage in... Uh, fire and 342 from the shot that we hit him with this thing is basically to drive around and pretty much one shot anything and everything that you know you have in front of your gun i was worried that culminator was going to come after me uh so i figured i better push forward then i saw their headser hit him for one shot and take him out uh 
their T-29 takes a shot at me, we get reloaded. And we melt him in one shot. <laughs> so, you can really do some damage quick in this. Um, you know, if it's lightly armored or if you get a good shot like that. And then I saw the Covenator. And then this PZB-2 just pulls right in front of me and sets there. So, I'm trying to back up to get a shot. And then he keeps pulling forward, pulling forward. I'm like, God bless America, he's going to get right in my damn way. But the Covenator was nice enough to pull forward and let me shoot him right in the side for 340, basically his full health. Um, so now they're down to just an M2 medium. Uh, he's got 93 hit points, and I'm up to four kills. I know I can't get a top gun, but I still like to get that fifth kill if possible. So basically the race is on. Um... Jeez, look at the graphics. I'm telling you, this 1080 Ti is just such a wicked flipping card. Um, it just looks so, so good. But uh, the M2's only got 16 hit points left. And uh, I just basically pull over here. I think I do an auto lock and uh, derp him in the face for his 16 hit points. And we do. So get that last kill and we do the spin of victory <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm loving this card man this thing is flipping awesome just awesome I mean I've got everything maxed out and uh, no, like I said the only thing I shut off is that um, oh what is that setting it's the uh, I'm gonna look it's really irritating me because I shut it, you know, motion blur. Gives me a damn headache. I don't know about you guys, but nothing sucks more than playing a game and having a headache after playing for a little bit. Um, we did get hit one time by the T-29 for 109 hit points of damage. And you can see that was one shot, and now I'm down to 150 hit points. So, like I said, 260 hit points does not go a long ways, and you can get melted pretty darn fast. But, uh Excuse me. Anyways, if you want to hold on for a minute, I will have some post-game stats, and we'll kind of go over this tank in uh, kind of a quick review. So hold on, and I'll be right back. So that's the Stug 3 Awesome B with the big derp gun. I don't play it too very often because it really doesn't feel fair <laughs> when you one-shot everything. When you're top tank, yeah, you can get away with doing that. When you are bottom tank, bottom tier, not uh, not going to do so good. You still, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're probably not going to one-shot everything. You'll just two-shot everything. Um, 350 average damage, I believe it is, per hit with this gun, with this big honking derp gun. A 105, yeah, standard uh, damage, 350, and your standard and your premium shell, 410 with your HE. So if you hit some lightly armored stuff like I was, yeah, you're going to one-shot everything. Uh, a little bit harder, like on like the B1, that's actually got some pretty good armor. I think I actually one-shot him. Yeah, I did. Uh, so we'll go over this real quick. So that was an ace tanker. Uh, fire for effect. Uh, fighter. Caught two people on fire, actually. Got an arsonist bruiser. Got a one bond, which uh, I was surprised. I didn't think you could get bonds at, you know, tier four. Uh, and a high caliber. So we hit the B1, which has really got good armor, but we plugged him in the side for 426, finished him off in one shot, knocked out his radio, caught him on fire, and he got hit for four damage upon us, spotting him. We originally spotted him, the Type 95, the Covenator, and the M2. Uh, the Type 95, we shot him, hit him for 421, and destroyed his engine. I was surprised I didn't finish him off. Uh, Hetzer, we hit him for 270, finished him off, and knocked out his track. Covenator, we hit him for 340, finished him off, knocked out his track. The M2, shot him for a whopping 16 hit points at the very end there, finished him off. And the T29, hit him for 160 and finished him off. This thing is a damn beast. It is a beast. If you can get that gun singing like that, the only drawback is you have not a lot of hit points and not a lot of armor. You can go through, yeah, let's look. It's got 260 hit points, so if you get an auto or like a PZ1C or something that can just unload into you, you've only got 50 millimeters in the front, which isn't bad for this tier, but you only got 30 in the side and the rear. And a PZ1C, he'll clip out on you and leave you either dead or with 
very few hit points left. Uh, but we did the most damage at 1,633, got 5 kills and a base experience of 986. The next closest person to me was our Covenator with 478 hit points of damage. So, you can see what I'm saying. This thing is just a, it's a beast. Uh, the Hetzer on the enemy team, he, that also has a derp gun you can mount. He only did 103 damage while he only hit one target. So, by the looks of it, I'm thinking he wasn't using the derp gun. Uh, I think the standard gun on that, or the 75 millimeter hits for like 110 average damage. So I have a feeling he did not have the derp gun on there. Uh, most of the enemy team really didn't get a lot of damage because I was one-shotting them all. <laughs> so worked out better for my team. Uh, we had seven shots, six hits, six pen, 1,633 damage. We did get hit one time, and it did penetrate us. Uh, we spotted four, damage six, destroyed five. Damage with our assistance was four. After all was said and done, we still made 6,868 credits. I did use, um, I believe, all my heat. I only carry five, but being that I was top tier, I wanted to make sure that, and at first our team was kind of getting just disappearing pretty quick, and I'm like, shit, this is going to suck. So I decided I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use my heat shells, make sure I penetrate, and hit them for 350 and hopefully knock them out. Whereas the HE does a little more damage, but... Your penetration is 53. If you hit a side shot or a rear shot, yeah, you'll probably one-shot them. Because you can go all the way up to 513 damage with that HE shell. And the heat shell, if you get a good roll, you can do up to 438. So, yeah, I prefer to shoot the HE because you make more credits. But when we started losing uh, teammates like that, you know, makes you want to just kind of get the other team erased as quick as you possibly can. But, I mean, this thing is a, it's just a damn beast. It's nice. It's low profile. It's only got six uh, degrees of gun depression, which kind of sucks in a way. Because with this nice low profile, it would be good if you can kind of roll up over hell, uh, hell a little bit. You know, use your gun depression, pop a shot off, and just, zoop, you know, reverse out of there real quick. But with only six degrees of gun depression, it's not as easy as doing that. Um... I will go over this real quick. So I don't th I've never done a review of this now that I think about it. Uh, your average damage per shot with this gun is 350 for your standard and your premium, 410 for your HE. Average damage per minute is 2333. Dispersion, 0.55. So, yeah, it's you've got artillery like uh, dispersion. Aim time is 2 seconds. I've got mine down a little bit less than that, so it aims in pretty quick. I'm also using, uh, I installed. Um, Aslan's mod pack, and it's a newer version or something of that DG Sight mod, and I like this one. It's a little bit cooler looking the way it kind of, uh, when you're aiming in, it kind of spins in the center, uh, showing that you're kind of like almost ready to shoot. It's pretty neat. Uh, my rate of fire is 7.9 second reload, or excuse me, 7.9 second uh, rate of fire. Reload is 7.59 seconds, so really not too bad. Under 8 seconds. Uh, for, you know, 350 or 450 average damage, that's pretty damn good. Uh, gun Traverse says 3733, and the Hall Traverse is 42.67. Not too shabby. It can still be circle stray, so if you get down to by yourself, you know, where you're, where you're alone or only a couple of you, get into some buildings, get a rock behind you, something where they can't, you know, keep circling around you. Gun Depression is negative 6, which is okay, and plus 20. Gun Traverse Limits is only 10 and 10. Which, it's not bad, but it, I, it could be a whole lot better. I would rather see it at least 12. Uh, up around 15 would be real nice. I've got my aim time down to 1.71 seconds, which is nice. Because with a derp gun, your biggest enemy is you're aiming in, you're aiming in, and you're watching your reticle shrink in and shrink in. And shrink in. And by the time you get shrunk in, the guy you're going to shoot at is gone. <laughs> so, it's like, ah! You know, you want to have a nice quick aim time so you can shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink. And shrink and boom! And pull that trigger and blow them to kingdom come. Uh, I got my dispersion down to .25, which still really kind of sucks. But at close range, not too much of a problem. Uh, average damage per minute on mine is 2765. Excuse me, which is actually that's like tier 8, tier 9 uh, damage per minute. That's if you penetrate, though. Um, or if you fully penetrate with an HE shell. You only get a handful of 260 hit points, so you really got to watch those because they can go quick. Low tiers with these auto loaders, uh, with you know 30 shells in the magazine, doing 11 per uh, damage per hit, 
260 hit points can disappear very, very fast. Now you got 50, uh, 50 armor in the front, and you got 30 in the side, and 30 in the rear. It is a pretty sharp looking tank destroyer. Looks like they left their shit bucket on the back of the, uh, <laughs> the tank destroyer. Usually that's what it was for. It was like a shit bucket or uh, for them to go to the bath, wash bucket, you know, to take a bath, whatever. Uh, weight limit is 23.79 tons, so it's not really that heavy, so I wouldn't go smash it into any mediums or heavies. If it's a light tank, you can probably schmuck into them, but you're still going to lose some hit points. Engine power is 440 horsepower. Your specific power to weight is really good at 18.5. Top speed is 40 and forward, 10 and reverse. Concealment is actually very good at 30.87, and I do not have a camo net. If I do a camo net, it would probably be closer to 50. Uh, maybe high 40s um, or low 50s. Uh, view range, 321, which with a tank destroyer, I'm really, really thinking. I like what I have my aim time down to because that's the one thing I hate the most is when you have a tank and the aim time is freaking horrendous um, and if I take the uh, improved ventilation off or the uh, enhanced gun lane drive my aim time is going to get way back up there and if you look at it aim time we're getting 0.17 enhancement for the gun lane drive and 0 0.04 for ventilation so the ventilation uh, it's kind of tempting to pop that off, but ventilation helps overall everything, like right, turn radius, your just everything. You know how fast they load the gun, how fast, just just everything, but basically. So it's something you don't really want to take off unless you absolutely have to. It is low tier, so 321 really is not that good at all, but. Um, at low tier like this, a lot of times your enemy will come, you know, just crazy in fast and they'll get lit up by uh, your friendly uh, friendly guys they'll get proxy spotted and then you're kind of just sitting in the back just picking them off and signal range is 443 yeah that 321 is, is don't really like it I, I wish it were more around if I did not have coded optics or anything like that on here about 375 three even 350 but 321 I mean that's pretty damn blind and uh, if you uh, kind of pay attention in, in the replay, if you look at the uh, circle down at the bottom there, it uh, uh, wasn't very big, you know, for your your view range. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and the, the um, replay and everything about it. Uh, if you're looking at going up this line, it is a fun tank destroyer to play, especially when you one-shot everything. But on the other hand, you really got to watch it because uh, it really not much of any armor, so you can find yourself back in the garage really quick. So I hope you enjoyed the review and the replay of Z Stug 3 Awesome B with a derp gun. It does have a couple selections here. Like I said, the 7.5 is your only other option, or the uh, 105. Looks like on the 7.5, average damage is 110 all the way across the board. The only thing you're gaining is penetration and uh, your rate of fire. Which is kind of funny on these last two. 103, 139, 110, 158. If it's your rate of fire, it's both 15.4. It's actually the same on all of them, 15.4. Interesting. <laughs> but anyways... Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. You guys, take it easy and wait one minute. I almost forgot. <coughs> I wanted to let you guys know that uh, I changed clans, and uh, this is probably going to be the end of the road for me on any clan movement. I'm going to stay in this. I've been playing tanks for too long to be moving and moving and moving. A uh, buddy of mine wanted to move out of the clan that we were in, and he wanted to fire up... Uh, his own clan that he was in charge of and so on and so forth and he asked me to oh, just, looks like the mechanic must be coming back I'm waiting to get my truck work done um, he asked me to uh, move to the new clan with him and um, I felt like that, uh, it was a good move so anyways let me bop out of this and so our new clan is TNAO the New Age Outlaws um, that's, I don't know if you've noticed the new emblem on my tank. Kind of a cool looking skeleton with a, looks like my head. See, that's tank and trucker's skull right there. 
that's that's me with my hair that's all hair i got <laughs> but uh yeah so if you uh do a search in google for tnao it'll pop up the new age outlaws you can click on that link and it will take you to our website uh, well not our website but uh, world of tanks website and you can click on join these awesome rocking dudes and go kick some ass with us um it is also in um my uh description down below in the uh, channel here yeah i don't know if i i didn't check to see if i can click on it yet because um it's showing me that i gotta cut and paste it but sometimes it'll show me something then i'll get on the website and then it's completely different so you might be able to either click on this right here this link if not just cut and paste it into your uh, search engine and hit enter it'll take you right to the website uh, for the new clan new age outlaws and uh, we're definitely looking for new people and like before like I said you know if you've got red stats green stats purple stats red doesn't matter you know we'll train you up we'll get you going and uh, we could really use a lot of good players well I don't mean as in you gotta have great stats I mean we just friendly good players people that don't you know we're not we're all older guys in this clan so if you're you know 16 or 15 and you want to join you know we're not going to turn you away but you know we just don't we don't play any games um you know we're all too old to have to deal with you know somebody being a dingbat and doing stupid stuff online and swearing at people and calling them you know every name in the book and then we get a message from somebody saying oh is this how your clan runs because i've done it i've sent you know clan commanders messages saying yeah, is this how your clan runs this you know uh, your uh, second command was calling me an asshole because i killed him and tell him you know tell me i'm a cocksucker and you know and, and i don't play that game you know so don't come to the clan thinking that we're going to be playing games that just it's we're too old for that stuff <laughs> we wanted to get on here blow tanks up have fun and try and make a name for ourselves so if you're interested in doing that feel free to uh you know pop in um if you send me a message i can get you our team speak info and i just don't want to hand that out to everybody because if you do that then you get people that are idiots and they'll be just goofing around getting on your team speak and just being buttholes so if you are interested in joining the clan you know please contact me uh, click the link uh, either myself or uh, Charlie the clan commander will um, talk with you and we'll get you uh, get you some tags get you up and joined in the clan and you can come kick some butt with us take some names win some tanks win some gold win some camos and uh, you know have fun and just we'll go from there anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel you guys take it easy be safe i hope to see you in the clan in the near future and you guys take it easy bye for now